Hi, paint pouring people. Today I'm going to do my final Christmas slash winter theme painting. You can see on the wall behind me all the results of the different paintings I've done in different videos with the Christmas theme. One painting leads to the next. I didn't know I was going to do this many when I started. It has been a lot of fun. We've had a tons of fun doing these Christmas themes. And also, I have people posting paintings of what you've done. If you want to do the same, you can join my Facebook group called Paint Pouring People. I love seeing the paintings. There's some really good stuff. Everybody does something different. That is what's so cool about painting, paint pouring and painting in general, is everybody does something different. So today I'm going to do a snowman. So let's get started. I have a 12 by 12 canvas that I'm going to work on. This is one of my favorite sizes to work on. And I'm going to pour the background first with a series of different colors of blue. So here we go. I'm going to swipe this now. This is my, one of my favorite techniques is to do a nice swipe. I'm going to take several passes with this until it looks about right to me. This is going to represent the dark sky background because when Mr. Snowman is white, we want to have something darker behind him so he'll show up. But I don't want it too deep. So I'm going to keep swiping. This also helps the paint run over the edge, which I always like. And keep swiping till the depth looks about right. And this is going to be snow down here. So I want to have it mostly look white, but there'll be some blue popping through here, which is kind of fun. And I'm painting this upside down, I forgot to mention. This is going to be towards you. And remember, these are just shapes we're painting, so it, if you want to paint upside down, it's kind of a fun thing to do. I'm just going to take a look at my depth here. It looks pretty good. Okay, there's my background. I like that. I like the dark up here. That's why I put some black in here. I want it to be sort of a gradient from dark to light. So now I'm going to make a dirty pour, which is going to be the snowman color. It's going to be white, pearl, which pearl is colorless, but it's, it looks different than the white. It has sort of a grayish silvery look compared to the white. And I'm going to throw a little purple in there. This is just a five ounce cup I'm using and I'm just barely putting a couple ounces in here. Now because there's so little in here, I'm going to stir it very slightly because I want all these colors to come out more or less at the same time. If this was a big dump of a dirty pour, it wouldn't matter. But here goes the snowman body. We'll see what happens. I want this to be the biggest. Add to it. Medium. And you can see the pearl, the white, and some purple. Now I'm going to shape it with my palette knife 
just drag it into a nice fat hopefully snowman kind of a free form guy he's going to be lumpy fun shapes i want him sitting down into that snow right there Go with this, the middle part. With this technique, the paint kind of tells you what it wants to do, so you just have to go with it. It's a it's a very abstract shape that we're doing here, but that's part of the fun. Here's his head. See, he looks good against the dark background there. I'm going to leave the head more or less alone. Just shape it. Maybe push the bottom out a little bigger. You have plenty of time to mess with this. There's plenty of time before this dries. 20, 15, 20 minutes, depending. So you can play with your shapes until, until you just want to stop. Give him a little. Now I'm going to add some touches to him. His eyes made out of coal. Just a couple of dots is all you need because it'll grow. If you want to wait until the painting dries a little more, you'll have a little more control over this. But I like to go ahead while it's still wet and just see what happens. There's an orange nose again. Just a dot is all I need. I'm going to drag it out to a little carrot nose. That's kind of fun. See, it's always nice to have some little spot of color. Now here we go with some coal belly buttons or whatever this is. What are they? We always do these. What is it? Is it button? Buttons, I guess. I'm just going to do three. I like odd numbers. I have some gold for some twig arms. Very loose, just just a really loose su suggestion of a, a twig arm. There. Okay, a couple more things. This is an idea that you can use. I have some glitter. Since this is the holiday season, I think glitter is appropriate. I have some really nice blue glitter. I'm going to throw some in the cup, in a clean cup. And I'm going to use my Easy Flow, which is my pouring medium. And I'm just going to mix, here it is right here, just a small amount of pouring medium in there. Mix the glitter. I'm going to pour some into the sky. This sky is really pretty, but I wanted to show you this. It doesn't really need the glitter, but what the heck. I think I wanted to show you this technique. Just a way to get some glitter in there without taking over the whole painting. And when this is dry, this white look will disappear and you'll just see the color of the glitter because the pouring medium dries clear. Just spread it with my stick. Move it around some. Just some fun glitter. I, I like doing this last. It seems like the glitter stays on top better if you do it last, as opposed to doing it sooner where it might sink to the bottom. Now as a final touch, I'm going to take some of my black and do a very slight outline of Mr. Snowman. I 
I'm not outlining the whole thing just here and there kind of helps I'm gonna do it across the bottom here kind of helps anchor him down to the snowbank that he's sitting in helps define the shape And there he is. I think I'm going to stop right there. So I hope you've enjoyed all these Christmas paintings. I've, I've certainly enjoyed doing them in just a few minutes. We have a nice, a nice addition to the, the rest of the Christmas paintings. So I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. And if you want to help support this channel, there's several ways you can do it. I have a Patreon page, a PayPal link. I also have an Amazon store where you can shop for all the supplies that I use for paint pouring. I also have a webpage called paintpouringpeople.com where you can go there and shop for merchandise. It's another way to support my channel. So there's many ways to do it and I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for your support. It helps keep the videos rolling and the paint pouring. And we'll see you next time. We'll be back soon with more great ideas.